Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to another GTA 6 news video and because I basically was asleep when the GTA 6 trailer was released prematurely because it was leaked so Rockstar just decided to release it, I decided to stream me watching the trailer for the first time on the morning when I woke up, which is what you're seeing now, sort of my reaction for the first time, and then in the following sort of two, two and a half hours, I spent all the time just basically going through the trailer frame by frame, zooming in, enhancing all this kind of stuff uh, to try and give the get the best impression of what this all means for the game and what we can sort of see, which cars we can see, features, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> so that's what this video is going to be about. Basically, a cut down version of that, you know, live stream, so that you don't see any of the, uh, you know, the, the bits in between where I just wasn't saying anything. So it's going to go from, you know, making one point to the next on the trailer in total. And the benefit of doing it on a live stream like that was that I had nearly 2,000 people also watching me in the chat, being able to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So. Hopefully this will be showcasing the most comprehensive trailer analysis that is possible to do and yeah to give you guys the, the best okay. information possible about what we can expect from the game. So yeah, hope you all enjoy and okay. I think we're all pretty excited for good reason for GTA 6. Okay, it's gonna be incredible. Oh, we've got a lot to look at in this. I saw so many cars that I recognize. This video is brought to you by Bruffy.com. This is my website where you can find all the info you need about me and my content from a fully documented catalogue of my videos with chronological playlists to live streaming plans and much much more. Go straight there with a link in the description and pinned comment. I mean this is new, this camper van. Uh, that looks like a speedo to me. This is almost straight out of GTA yeah. 5, like Sadler Plus. Ah, thank you, Boeing Triple Seven Pilot, for getting an enamel pin. Oh, what a scumbag! On store.brophy.com. <laughs> yeah, it could be a Dominator. That one. Everything might be placeholder cards. No, there's there's no way they're gonna put placeholder cards in a, uh, a trailer. These are the cars that are gonna be in the game. Placeholder cars in those leaks. You could have given. You could have thought, but never. They're never putting placeholder cars in a trailer. Uh, yeah, that's a bobcat, isn't it? And then that looks like a... What's that board? Squallo? I've definitely seen it before in GTA 6, uh, GTA 5. I've not seen that before in GTA 5. It looks like the sort of the rental shuttle bus or the... the um, but it, it's a different model. This is a different bus model. There was GTA 4 police car in the GTA 5 trailer. Was there really? Huh. All right. Well, okay. Uh, let Let's not um. Let's Let's leave the possibility open, I guess. But with uh, with so many of the cars being so, uh, you know, they they they've they've really put them front and center with this. I can't see how. I I we'll we'll have a look. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. That was that 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 boat was new. I think there's there's gonna wait is that a oh, dolphins shark? I think this um there's gonna be a heavy emphasis on like boats. This is like yeah, it's like a little mini yacht catamaran maybe, but there's gonna be a heavy emphasis on that. If it's gonna be you know Florida with all the 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 uh the sea that's around there, I'm kind of happy about that. I've always felt like boats were a little bit underutilized or, or at least forgotten about a bit much in GTA 5. I like boats. <laughs> so that's brand new. That's going to be fun. So we got a boat coming in there. We got a sea shark over there. Well, multiple sea sharks. And then all these birds. The wildlife is going to be significant all right so there's vice city why 69 when you can what does this say 
nine. Oh yeah, nine one nine says on the the purple banner as well. What's nine one nine? What does that mean? So we've got helicopter, plane, plane. What does sixty nine mean, bruv? Oh, I, I couldn't possibly say. I have no idea. Taxi down there. It's a spoof of a live nightclub. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Background. Lake. It does. Oh, so that's probably a maverick then. Okay. But this is like this, this, well, lake, pond, whatever. I'm guessing this looks like a little park area. Oh, wait, there's, there's all sorts of water. Of, oh, I I'm forgetting it's Vice City. It's Vice City. There's there's all sorts of like if we look at the original game. Yeah, there was like yeah, the golf club could be there's there was, you know, all sorts of little islands connecting the two main islands in Vice City. I'm forgetting I'm forgetting all of that. Because there's water all over the place. There's water here, 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 here. It's probably the multiple different islands. Oh yeah. I mean it looks incredible. I mean look at this. Look at how Everything is so detailed. You got people like that's the scale of it, though. Like there's the there's the character model there, and then look at how detailed for such a tall building. Okay. There we saw this in the leaks. The um. Uh, the riverboat thing. So there's going to be like Everglades and stuff. We already saw it. Well, we know there's alligators. Look, flamingos. A lot of the Red Dead, uh, Red Dead 2 levels of animals, I guess, are going to be in here. I mean, yeah, when you think about Red Dead Redemption 2, and all those animal collection things that you had to do. Like, there were so many different animals and variations of animals. At least some of that is going to make its way into here. And yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 levels of foliage. Oh, there's alligators right there. And a duck. Pet the pelts. Yeah, that's it. Oops. Alligator. Alligator. Duck. Well, ducks. It's going to feel so alive, isn't it? This is what got me the first on the first watch through. The density on this beach is just Oh, there's that car that we saw on the beach earlier. So many people and they're all so well um modeled. Like such a step up from like when you're comparing this to gta 5 it's just it's just not even it's like oh my i mean to be fair gta 5 came out two generations of a game ago but they're all doing their own oops they're all doing their own things like those two in the background taking a photo i wonder if this is just a cutscene or it will actually be like this in the game at certain times like when it's actually going to be popular. So there's that tr truck that we saw earlier. People thinking it's a Cara Cara. <laughs> oh, is he is he on the ground getting getting a social media video of her <laughs> on the right, <laughs> trying to get the right angle? Or he's a perv. I mean, I. I it seemed like it's going to be quite social media focused. Um, we, we'll see that later on. Or both. Yeah. <gasps> the dog! Look at it! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, goodness me. Like he's, he's spraying her. I'm guessing, is this like, is it just going to be like full of, oh my God, the whole game's going to have like a social media vibe, isn't it? It's going to be like everybody, it's so 
vapid and and wanting to be the best person on social media and and the whole thing is like everybody at the beach isn't actually relaxing at the beach anymore they're all just trying to get social the best social media posts uh super valito we think in the top left yeah that does look like a super valito from gta 5 and uh i mean the sea shark on the right looks the same um that in the top right actually you guys can't see it because i'm hiding it uh that's the sea sparrow we have that in gta 5 but it's woefully underused because i mean it's pretty useless but we got a sea sparrow i mean that's a classic vice city vehicle uh something front heights over there on that building all right boats so we can see the one of the i'm guessing that's one of the big bridges that connects i mean there, there's there's sort of like two main islands right um there, at least there was for the original vice city i'm guessing it'll be more closely based on miami itself now but um there's going to be all sorts of bridges and waterways during all of this this is obviously the port area that looks like a cool boat that one twin hull yeah i don't know what that is in the background maybe like a tug tugboat uh yeah in a lot of these shots it seems like we're seeing jumbo jets like is that an inkling is that like a hint that that's going to have more of a feature because they they have the big jumbo jets in um gta 5 and you can actually fly one of them in single player um but you don't really need to use them because the map is so small uh, hopefully there'll be you know a boat being more of an impact in gta 6 and also proper you know big jumbo jet type planes where you've actually got to take a plane from one part of the map to another or whatever would be would be quite nice all right so we got kelly county vice city international airport the 404 west and the 97 catalan boulevard stockyard downtown so we're getting some names of places um kelly county what does Kelly could Kelly County mean? Because I don't, I'm not really familiar with Miami and Florida in general. I'm guessing Kelly County could be like the outskirts of Miami when you get out of Miami itself, kind of like the Blaine County of GTA 5. And yeah, no Escobar International Airport, it's Vice City International now. Uh, yeah, we're at night now, and those buildings in the back do look good, all lit up. Uh, so let's see yeah it looks like to me on first viewing that looked like a furia in uh in the background oh there's a guy hanging out taking a video on his phone it's freaking social media posts all over again is that jason is that the main character and this is lucia right maybe they're getting in on the social media game or are these just random people i can't really tell oh is this jason driving this car I don't know. I don't know. I can't really tell what this car is that she's in. I can get echoes of Coquette D10 kind of thing. That was my initial thought. So, okay, okay, here we go. Here's some cars. Right, what do we recognize? That's a Primo over on the left. Behind that, Tulip, maybe? Uh, Cavalcade in front. Uh, we got the Faction Custom Donk in pink. Oh, that could be, actually, the one in the, the, the SUV might be the uh, the big Landstalker. The Landstalker, what was it? 3600 LX or whatever it was. Oh, is that the Granger 3600? Yeah, the Granger 3600 LX. That's what I was thinking. Um, oh, is that Tulip Donk? It's not a faction. Oh, it's a different Donk. I just assumed it was the faction Donk because of the, the wheels. Uh, behind the Primo's a Chino, we think. Okay, hang on. Let me zoom in. All right. What's this? Some people are saying PMP 600. Is this what the PMP 600 looks like? 
I didn't. I can't remember too much about the PMP six hundred. I mean, it was in GTA four, right? But I didn't. I don't remember it looking like this. But then it's been a while since I've been on GTA four. To be fair. All right. So we got the, we I, we I, we do have some new cars. It seems. Yeah, like a newer model. Later screenshot will reveal what it actually is. Okay. Uh. So the, the I mean, this pretty much confirms you know car customization in a way. Um, low riders are going to be here. What is this? I, I recognize it. Is it a Buccaneer? I, I, I recognize it, but I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, it is a Buccaneer. It has to be, doesn't it? And then, so this donk looks like, is that a, that's a Stania in the background, the gold car, but it looks fairly heavily modified. So even basic vehicles... Well, staying here at Washington. We got this um we got a bike here. Oh, this is a Stania donk. It's a Stania donk. <laughs> Can you just donk every vehicle now? <laughs> um and yeah, this isn't a faction, is it? it some people were saying in the chat Tulip M one hundred. Is that the body? Because again, yeah, I guess it's the. Let me just go to gtacars.net so I can actually see some of these cars in real life. Well, Tulip M100, that does look kind of like a Tulip M100. And again, again, it's like we got that in the game fairly recently, GTA 5. We got it in GTA 5 fairly recently. It's kind of no surprise, I guess, that GTA 5 DLC cars have been GTA 6 cars for a while. Uh, we got the bike behind. Um, are we seeing Carbon RS? Um, and yeah, Jubilee. That is a Jubilee in the background as well behind the, the bike. Oh, I see what you mean. That's an ATF drafter, isn't it? That looks like the front of an ATF drafter. Or Jugular or Argento. Argento would be good. That's a mod vehicle, but it could be. Yeah, that might be a new vehicle. Tailgater S. Hmm. Yeah, there's, 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 interesting that one. I don't know what that is to the left of that, though. It's too, it's too far away. You can't really make it out. Okay, so what I'm seeing is I was initially a little bit perturbed and disappointed about the fact that there were so many GTA 5 cars in here. Um, could be an F620 over there in the background there. Because I, I don't know, like, you know, when you, we've moved from GTA 4 to GTA 5 and, and all this kind of stuff, you know, you, the cars are all feel completely different and different models and stuff like that. But... From what I'm seeing with this is that it looks like customization is going to be a huge part of it, obviously. But also, there are new vehicles. It's not only all GTA 5 cars. Um, and the, the they do have little differences. They're going to have updated models and all this kind of stuff, probably updated interiors. And... It is in the you know we're 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 they're trying to keep some consistency I guess with GTA Five we're in the same era of you know so it would make sense in the same universe that you're going to see the same vehicles in different places in the world and they've got so many vehicles to work with over the last ten years of GTA Online although GTA Online's probably just been getting backported GTA Six vehicles hundred percent looks like a police maverick in the sky I would say. Uh, don't know if you saw, but Take Two confirmed the state name. Grand Theft Auto Six heads to the state of Leon Leonida Leon Leonida. I don't know how to say that properly. Home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond. Also, they've advised they're aiming for PC in 2026. <laughs> yeah, I mean at least a year after, I would imagine. Um, so the state of Leonida. That's gonna be the the state. That's gonna be like the San Andreas of. GTA 5. Kelly County is maybe the equivalent of Blaine County. Vice City is obviously Los Santos. But then we've also got, I would imagine, 
I would imagine that you know the, the thing that the thing that GTA Five and I think some of the, the the leaks showed this as well. There's going to be more bigger towns and stuff outside of Vice City, in the way that there wasn't really outside of uh, Los Santos. I think there's going to be you know we've got Port Gelhorn. We'll look at the map later on, or at least what people think the map's going to be based on leaks and whatnot. Maybe you pronounce it like Florida, or maybe Leonida, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Leonida. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll figure. I like to pronounce things correctly, so we'll figure that out at some point. All right, nightclub. Make it rain Mondays. <laughs> yeah, this is like again the density in here it might just be a cutscene, I suppose, but I can't imagine in gameplay it's gonna be like this. You're never gonna. You're never gonna be able to like walk through a nightclub with this many people. You you just you you wouldn't be able to get through it. Yeah, interesting picture. There's no cars in this one, so we don't need to look at it too much. Children, close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really liking the diversity of characters and people. We'll get a car in there. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. He's probably going to be a character that we're going to. It's going to be important. Oh, look at this! This looks incredible. This just looks. This this is like okay. So this has to be one of like the middle islands, right, between the two main areas of Vice City. Oh yeah, we can see the yacht. Is that is that a GTA Five yacht? That looks so similar to the yachts we see in GTA Five. Um, anyway, we've got, so we got a toll booth. I, I imagine not many people are going to just do anything other than drive past it. What is that with the stripe? I was going to say Banshee initially, but then I don't think the model looks like a Banshee. Is it a Banshee? Stripe for a Banshee is kind of iconic. Oh yeah, tennis court on the left. Cycle lanes. Oh yeah, cycle lanes, of course. Uh, we got some vans and pickups in the car park. That has to be a banshee, doesn't it? Yeah, Yuga. Yeah, it's a Yuga classic, isn't it? Or a Yuga? It's it's one of the two. Uh, it's it's difficult to see. I I, I almost look the the blue one. Looks like a, a back of an Italian GTO. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's giving me those vibes, but it's so difficult to make out at this distance. But the traffic looks great here. The life that this looks like it has. Again, another, another jumbo jet. What have we got over here? Yeah, a lot of water, a lot of boats. Marquee that looks like from GTA Five. All right, here we go. This is where we're truly going to get into it. So on the very left, that's definitely a blister. Has to be a blister. I mean, you can only just see the back end of it, but it's got to be. Um, then we've got a gauntlet. Hang on, let me zoom in. Oh yeah, it's four doors actually. Maybe a four door blister. Um, and this is a Gauntlet Hellfire. Then we've got a Comet S2 Cabrio. I don't know what this one is on the very left, in the bottom left. So the the Comet S2 straight out of, you know, the, when we got the Comet S2 Cabrio straight out of GTA 6, it seems. <laughs> um, that's obviously a Cheetah Classic. Looks to have a slightly updated... I mean, everything's going to have an updated model, though, let's be honest. Oh, there you go. Leonida. It says on the, the license plate. So that's the state. I can't see what it says further underneath. Something state. Cheetah plate. Um, private plate, so it could be a cutscene. Oh, it's all a cutscene. Everything's a cutscene that we're seeing in this. Uh, in the background, that looks like a Reaper, the green one. 
That's that's definitely a Reaper. Well, it looks like it to me. Um, I can't work out what the orange car is. This a Sentinel? The orange one in the very back? That back end looks very Sentinel XS-ish. We're saying jugular for that one. Hang on, I need to look at the back end of a jugular. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. I'll go with jugular on that one. Uh, that's a fugitive, the white car, isn't it? I, I recognize that grill. Oh no, wait, it's a shafter. It's a shafter, yeah. Or some form of shafter. Obviously a carbonizer on the right. That is straight carbonizer. It's just, it looks exactly the same as GTA 5. Um, and behind the shafter, right? That looks like the one of those cars. What are those cars called from Vice City? I mean, the original Vice City game that look very much like that. I can't think what they're called. It doesn't. It's not a tornado. Oceanic. That's it. That looks like an oceanic. Straight out of GTA Vice City. Has to be surely. So there are going to be some new cars. It's not going to be all GTA Online cars. It's even the same white and yellow scheme and in front of the Ocean View Tommy's Hotel. I know, right? Yeah, Ocean View Hotel. We see it on the right there. What is the silver car behind the Oceanic or the pres presumed Oceanic? Because it looks kind of T20-ish, but not really. Oh, so could it be a Furia again? Oh, that could be the Furia again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's got to be the Furia again that we saw earlier. All right, so we got a Furia. Um, we got two bikes on the right. I don't know what... This looks like the white car in the middle. Let me just... That's got to be a Vigero ZX, right? Oh, Dominator GTX is a good shout as well, actually. It could be a Dominator GTX. That's got a very similar front end to that. People are saying Tailgater. Is that... Oh, yeah. The the black... Well, the, the blackish car next to the white one in the traffic. That is a Tailgater, isn't it? That back end is definitely Tailgater. Uh, we got two bikes. We got presumably homeless guy. We've got Corkett D10 straight out of GTA 5, and then a big SUV of some description in the back. The girls from the beach are those the same girls that we saw on the beach? I mean, again, it's probably cutscene, isn't it? These are probably like story story aspects. Uh, okay, so traffic's moving this way. We're not going to be able to see what car's coming in on the right there. Let's go this way. Did we miss anything? That's the Reaper again. Well, it looks like the Reaper anyway. Maybe a slightly updated model for the Reaper. Grange in the back next to the Oceanic. Uh, yeah, it's it's again, it's so difficult to see though at this point. But we're, we're seeing a lot of, I mean, yeah, I guess to be fair, that model on the left, I thought it was a Reaper initially. And I still think it looks closer to a Reaper than anything else, but that doesn't look, that doesn't look like, that doesn't look like any car that we have right now, I don't think. I think that's new. It kind of, it, it, it's, it looks similar to Zentano, yeah, Reaper, it, 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 but it's not uh, any of those. So it has to be a new car, that one. Again, I'm a little... I, I'm, we don't know for sure that I get... I'm, that surely, I don't. I can't see any way that these cars aren't going to be in the game. I can't see them using this many placeholders for the first trailer. Even if some of them look exactly like GTA V, they are going to have updated, you know, interiors, models, things like that. But, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that some of the recent GTA 6 DLC cars that we've seen are, are in G, uh, GTA 5 DLC cars are in GTA 6. All right, nightclub again. Did I say nightclub earlier when I meant strip club? I think I said nightclub when we were on the strip club. <laughs> this is a nightclub. That was a strip club. 
nothing too interesting there. All right. This is, um, isn't it, is it the Florida Keys? That are, that are those little islands towards the south of Miami? That's what this has got to be, right? Oh, yeah, that's that old bridge has got to be stunt jump material. So is that like a weather balloon? It looks like a weather balloon. We got these disparate little islands with bridges, old and new. I guess it could be a blimp. It looked a little small for a blimp. We got lots of boats as expected. The Dodo, that looks exactly like the GTA 5 Dodo, even the livery on it. Uh, I can't really tell what the traffic is. It's a little too far away. The density of the traffic looks incredible. Look at all these little bits of land in between, you know, we've got container ships and other boats and yachts and things, just the map is going to be incredible. Yeah, the uh, barges, those container ships are actually moving in the, they're not just stuck in the port like on all other GTA games. And these bridges connecting each of the... Like, I really like the idea of having these little bits of land with bridges connecting them, but also boats being a, an option to be able to, you know, quickly go to these islands. All right, we're on the top of a skyscraper in a pool. The, the, the city, when you look at the background, I recognize these logos on her bikini. It's like, uh, what's the, the brand that does that? Perseus, is it? Yeah, the the hair physics. Sasanta Nova, that's it. Oh, yeah, SN. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the hair physics are pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, okay. You say, oh, yeah, look at the background. The character models look really good as well. <laughs> <laughs> let's not, let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. Um, <laughs> zoom in on the logos, enhance. <laughs> oh no, Zex is here. Oh no. <laughs> and it, nothing looks good. Nothing looks good, wife. It's, it's, it, 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 it. <laughs> we're under, we're under the next one. We're under the next one. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Yeah, I think we got away with that. I think we got away with that one. Maybe you could zoom in on those straps. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Zexy's cool. When she says something like that, I think she's all right. <laughs> yeah, Vice. Um, do they have something like this in Miami? Like the Vinewood sign. But well, the the you know like like to what the because I I thought that was just a quintessential. LA thing. Yes, they do. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, the sun, sun like sunrise looks incredible. Okay, this was something that I was interested in. Again, this whole social media aspect seems to be quite integrated into the game. Dad bod squad. <laughs> that is proper dad bod energy. I mean, he he's obviously. He's obviously got the money. Zoom in on that dad bod. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> the, the diversity that we're seeing in the models is really good. We're seeing all sorts of different, you know, body shapes and types. I really like that. Uh, official porch. Stay alert, Vice City. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. Poachers, getting alligators. Poach? Is that what that stands for? No. Uh, protection of animals and controlled hunting. Protection of animals and controlled hunting. That's what poach stands for. According to that little logo on the bottom left. I wonder if you can do that as a job during the game. 
can you imagine if they they start doing um like role play type stuff <laughs> now that they own 5M they do GTA 6 version of role play and it's it's like you can be <laughs> an animal control guy and <laughs> Clouds do look really good, actually. That's a good point from the chat. Cloud, like, like when you look at the clouds, it looks that looks like real overcast sky to me. And I imagine you know, we're in Florida, right? Miami. There's gonna be, there's gonna, there's gotta be like hurricanes and and tornado warnings and all that. Whatever you know, Miami actually gets because it's pretty rough down there sometimes, isn't it? I could see social media being used in the same way breaking news radio segments were for recent in-game activities. Maybe, actually, that's a good point. Or to, like, link different, you know, parts together of the story. Yeah, you get, like, a little... The main character looks at his phone and it's, like, a few social media scrolling to give you an update on things that are happening in the world or something like that. We obviously come into this a little bit later on, but, like, you can, you can see the ripple on the beach ball. Maybe the beach ball just dropped in or something like that, but you see the ripple in the pool from the ball. Like, the yeah, the details, the, the water looks really good. Everything looks really good. Have a vice day. Someone call the Department of Transport on this dump truck. <laughs> yeah, again, like, these, it's the social media side of it is 100% going to be a huge part it seems, based on what we've seen in this trailer. Enhance! Enhance again! <laughs> again, the different body models, it's really nice to see. A little dangerous though, I think. <laughs> the hair looks good. That's what you're looking at, is it, Tomlinson? The hair. Yes, the hair looks good. <laughs> All right, more cars. So obviously the the whole car culture, car meat, maybe like, you know, sort of going back to the, the like a, a tuna aspect. Wait, is that a guy with a camera? It is. A, that's a, got to be a guy with a camera on the, like right up to the car in front. Again, it's everything is for, everything is for views and videos and photos for social like it, it they're really leaning into the way that life is like that now which i guess we should be expecting uh i can't really make out what these cars are really from a top it's it's quite it's a little bit more difficult from a top-down perspective i think recognizing cars Yeah, I guess the front of the, the silver one on the left there looks penumbra-ish. Elegy Retro, the white one on the left. I'm glad you guys are all here. Our dark green is the Elegy Retro custom, do you think? It looked like an Elegy front on the white one at the left. But I, I find it really difficult on from a top-down perspective looking at some of these. Um... I don't know. Is that that's a stainier in the middle, though, isn't it? Like it's such a basic car, the stainier, but it seems to feature quite heavily. Uh, is that a carbon is there in the top right? Oh, you, maybe you guys can't see. That looks carbon is there front end on the like the one on the right at the top. Uh, can't really make out what those top cars are. It's quite difficult. I find it very difficult. Either way, we know we know at this point there's going to be a lot of cars <laughs> and car. Co I don't think we. I mean, it's in the name, I suppose. Grand Theft Auto. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have. Uh, there's no there's no getting away from the car culture part of it what we'll be able to do with those cars whether it comes to like racing if i can even test them properly or whatever like you know so many we don't know but grand theft ass <laughs> luke's and zex you both said at the same time yeah more like grand theft ass rather than grand theft cars 
Uh, let's see. I mean, it's a it's a different vibe, obviously. Um, there, there you go, Grand Theft Ass. <laughs> It, it's a different vibe to, to GTA 5, but like every single GTA game has its own vibe. So it, it's kind of nice to be seeing something fresh in that way. Um, yeah, social media aspects again, very heavily weighing into that. We're not in, we're not zooming in. Freaking alligators. You you just know that this is going to be part of a mission, don't you? Like, we have to capture an alligator and take it to a place like this to do something, uh, like, to be able to cause a distraction while we go around the back and rob it or something like that. It has habanero. Or, or it could be that blister. That could be that blister, the four-door blister that we saw earlier. It's like... Yeah, I think that's that bigger blister, isn't it? Just outside. And then there's a truck, obviously. Uh, gold postal on the outside. A new billionaire every week on that lottery sign. Damn, it's a lot of money. Everything looks so detailed and really impressive, though. I mean, it's been 10 years in the making. It shouldn't be anything different, I guess. Beware of the dog. Police breaking in. Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's. Your head's body cam footage. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of thought it looked like Chop on that. Yeah. The, the, the image, the, the Beware of the Dog image. Body cam footage is. is interesting. I wonder again, like maybe this. I doubt you'll be able to play gameplay wise with a body cam footage like this but i imagine there will be, like this will just be a cutscene surely i mean everything's a cutscene i need to remember that all right usually gotta hit the strip club to see jiggle like that <laughs> planet leona de man it's like it's like the florida man like a florida man does this is it's a leona de man Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Sheriff. And then Arrow. Arrow Petrol. Arrow is a manufacturer in GTA 5. They have a cool um, like color scheme on them as well. Got a pickup truck. Quite a few pickup trucks we're seeing. Hopefully they're in their own class this time. Is the red truck a dually? Uh... Oh, it could be actually. I think it is. Yeah, it is. With the wide rear. Yeah, this looks this looks great. A lot of the companies seem like they're being consistent across GTA 5 and GTA 6 as well, like Arrow and, and a lot of the other uh, corporations and names and things like that. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, we see... A flash of, holy moly, this is huge. Is this a Sand King, but even more of a king? <laughs> That's like a Sand King XL, but more XL. That's like a Sand King XXL. <laughs> it might be, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if they put a car in that was like that. And it was just bigger. All right. Uh, again, General Custard Cannon. Only in Leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving. <laughs> This looks like a, a ruiner, maybe, this car in front. It, 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 oh, Vice Beaches, Port VC, and Keys on the sign there. Airport in Kelly County again, popping up. A car sign on the right there. We <laughs> Look at it on the left. <laughs> Wanted for panty sniffing. <laughs> Oh god, okay. GTA is back. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs>
All right, so we got your your mama's jammer. See you in heaven, cuz. Seems to be a lot of this, like, trying to get shots from cars. Was this his final social media post before he inevitably passed away by trying to do something as ridiculous as this? <laughs> Vice vinyl, is that what that says? I was trying to figure that out, actually. Oh, yeah, really yeah, sparkling paint job as well. The paint is something else. Yeah, Vice Vinyl, it says there. Wrap like it's hot. Hashtag ride out customs cross town. Ride out customs, Vice Vinyl. I guess that's going to be like the Los Santos customs. Interesting. The hair, the hair physics are really good, actually. I've got to say. And this guy's, um, I mean, he's living his life. He's living his life. There's, good, there's a pool in the background. <laughs> but, you know, again, a again, like, <laughs> I'm not zooming in. <laughs> again, these different models, like, you know, older people with actual, you know, aged skin and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm not enhancing this. Level 100 Florida man. <laughs> Leonida man. All right. Thrill Billy Mud Club. Yeah, there's all sorts of, you know, pickup trucks seem to be playing a big part in the trailer as well. I feel like pickup trucks are going to have a bigger part to play here in this game. Is that an outlaw on the right? It looks similar to an outlaw, but maybe an upgraded model of it. Like a, a similar idea, anyway. Um, yeah, there's a, I think there's a Sanchez over there. Sunglasses and backward cap guy and gal. Oh, what is that? Dorothy with 100 bits, most of these social media posts are flavors that happened in Florida in real life in recent years, like the alligator in the store. I see. I mean, that makes sense. Like, what is this? Like, above the, the bright vehicle on the... like, it's, It looks like a van that's got massive tires on it. <laughs> like a party through the mud. Huh, interesting. A lifted limo to the right. Hang on. Oh, wait, the, the red thing. Oh, yeah, that does look quite long. It seems like lift kits might be a thing. I wonder if it seems like a lot of these vehicles have the customization is going to be so much better than GTA. There's a car in the background there, actually, a, a truck. Um, It's flying. It's 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 midair. So this looks like it's some sort of off-road race type thing as they're all watching and cheering on the bridge. But yeah, car customization is going to be huge. Oh, you can see that. That's that massive Sand King XXL coming in again on the right. <laughs> There's people all over the place, is that? Okay. Lucha Libre fan, neighborhood don't watch, neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet. Definitely what that is in the background. I just saw that as I went back to that shot. Look, you can see the people standing on the top of it, just there. That's what that vehicle is. Okay, that's going to be interesting. All right, then we've got this social media post. That's a Vigero in the background, isn't it? Although. No, 450, there's 450 on the side. Isn't that um, Gauntlet Classic? The Gauntlet Classic has that on the side, right? The little 450 symbol. Is that a Gauntlet Classic? Could be new, of course. All right. Big old party atmosphere craziness. Leona de Man doing Leona de Man things, maybe. <laughs> it cures emotions, it says on the left. America's favorite disassociative. Angsty pan. <laughs> the humor is still there. 
yeah, interior car here. We, I mean, the police, we can see as they're on the way back. See a few um, uh, companies. Kowalski, Callus, Scala, uh, Alpha on the right there. Green, green police. Yeah, the hand, look at the hand, you're right. Like the detail on the character models. Like, look at the like the veins and everything and the, the, the sculpting. That's incredible. All right, is that working mirrors? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, again, could just be a cutscene. And they don't work in game, but hopefully they work finally. So that's those are our two protagonists, Jason and Lucia. As they're going away from a robbery, I guess, with all the all those all those monies. Alright, there's been a car crash, big car crash. Again, it's difficult to know how sort of, you know, how much of this will be in the game how much will be able to, will we be able to destroy the um the the world in such a in such a way as this and have all kinds of crap all over the road or is this just for a cutscene but it's still cool to see all these little details of how this crash has happened um yeah kind of looks like a hellion on the left there's a bike there as well um I'm guessing that's like a news van uh, is that like an intruder on the down, on the left at the bottom? This the cop car here definitely looks hellfire-ish, like gauntlet hellfire-ish. Um, then we got a truck with tires on it. There's some sports car here and behind the Weasel News banner. Yeah, the bike does blend in kind of well, but it is there. It's like a chopper style bike. Uh, there's that blister again. Has to be. Uh, behind the van. Behind the news van. Oh, there's people trying to get the guy out of the van. Or oh, people uh, out of the, the crashed car even. Like, they're trying to pull them out. Uh, oh, we got some Spanish. We got bikes and ATVs. Look up Miami Joker. That's what he's based on. Oh, okay. What does it What does it say? For anyone who knows Spanish, uh, the Spanish is basically saying that he was identified by his tattoos. That his tattoos gave him away. Okay, I see. Again, the models of everything look really good. Like the customization of these. Like this looks like it's the same bike, but they all look different because of the customization available to them. Different liveries, colors. Okay, uh, that's a that's a that's a comet retro, isn't it? That's like a is that a comet retro? Is that an actual comet retro? It's not a, just a comet retro custom. Is that an actual comet retro without all the custom nonsense? <laughs> oh, there's the banshee in the top left. That was the banshee that we saw earlier. We got the bikes, we got the police cars trying to keep everything in tr in check. Uh, what is that in the top right? Hang on. Let me... So we got a Comet Retro. Um, we got bikes and police cars. Is that a Futo? This first car? It looks Futo-ish. Uh, we got the Banshee there in the top. So the Banshee's back. It looks the same as GTA 5 Banshee, which isn't a bad thing. It looks exactly like the Banshee that they gave away for GTA 5's release. The same color and everything. Um, I feel like, I, is that an Oracle maybe? But what is this? I don't recognize what this is. It's like drop top, or at least it can have no roof. Feels like it could be a new car. Watch us, we'll get it in GTA Online as a DLC at some point, so we'll know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems like there's going to be more cop cars, more variation of cop cars. At the minute, we've got like three, really, in GTA 5 with the, the three different types of cruiser. 
um, the Buffalo, the Stania, and the regular one. Seems like there's going to be a significantly higher variety of, of police vehicles in terms of just, you know, your standard cars, at least. Uh, Leona demands sucked up in water spout, demands the city buy him a new suit. <laughs> Dead bike, dead, dead bike, dead bags. Cops failed to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. <laughs> high rollers lifestyle, high rollers mag against social media, righteous slaughter. That's the gate. That's a game. Uh, is that the PM? Oh yeah, PMP on the um, license plate on the green car in front. Ride out customs. Something by Ride Out Customs. Ra ra raised by Ride Out Customs on the back there. Sound for sound on this truck. With a window sticker. Like the the car customization is gonna be huge, I'm sure. Oh, was it seven hundred? PMP seven oh yeah, PMP seven hundred. Okay. New PMP. Oh yeah, crate in the back, crate of music vinyls. Look at the detail on the inside of the store. Look at all the, wow. This is what gets me. Like, look at all this. It looks like it could be real. The the crisp packets, the, the bottles, it's just, It's like, it's amazing. Is that fishing runs? <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe fishing will be a part of GTA 6. That, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's unbelievable. It's, it, it, wow. I've got no words. You can, you can see it. You can see how good it looks. Old computer, security camera, e cola bottles. What is that on the left? I can't really make out what it's it. Jesters? And like a Cheetos equivalent, maybe? T-shirts on the top left. Spread the fizz, e cola Piss was a $14.99. Gun and pawn shop. Pawn and gun shop. <laughs> I guess it's the same shop. Oh, maybe it's two different ones, and that's how they've titled it. So we're seeing a bit of the... Like, the backwater area of the state, I guess. Is this a tulip? That does look like a new dumpster in the background. As long as the tulip doesn't have advanced handling flags like it does in GTA Five, I'll be alright. That is definitely a new style of dubster of some description. Uh, what's over there? Can't really tell. Maybe some new cars, actually. Gun and pawn shops right next to each other is the most Florida thing in the trailer. <laughs> is that right? Could be a Hellion, actually, yeah, on the right, maybe. But it, it's, it does look a little bit different. This is definitely a Tulip. Well, it looks like it is anyway. Oh, there, you can see it just on the right-hand side, Tulip. There, on the badge. <laughs> it's, it's very different. It, it, Definitely a tulip. Again, stickers on bumper stickers. I wonder if you can put put window and bumper stickers on the cars. Speed limit fifty five. I missed that sign actually. Oh, pawn and gun. Of course, Port Gelhorn, pawn and gun. So this is Port Gelhorn. This is one of the. We'll look at the map at some point. Um, but it Port Gelhorn might be where we start our journey in the game, and then we go to the big city of Vice City. Um. But there's going to be a racetrack at Port Gelhorn as well, as we know from the leaks.
We have shoes. WHS, we have shoes. <laughs> and then it's just these two sticking together, Bonnie and Clyde style. Logger light, 18 pack cans, bottles, 13.99. Look at the stickers. Dignity beer, I guess. So that's the tulip art that we've just seen outside. So that must be their car. They start with a tulip, maybe. I imagine this is early game stuff. £10 ice bag, $2.50. We will no longer accept cash stored in underwear. <laughs> oh, they've got a little Apple Pay logo, but iFruit Pay. <laughs> is that a shark card logo as well, of course? Petty Forever. Uh... For your safety, please don't drink in this store. <laughs> Piss wasser everywhere. Thor, I think. Pindai or Cerveza. Just the detail on all of this is unbelievable. Uncle Jack loyalty. So Pindayo is like Pendeo in American, which is like idiot, but much worse. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's a, a yeah a spilled coffee uh, mug inside the car at the back. Again, we're we're looking at cutscene stuff, so whether that will be something that's used to see you know viewable in in gameplay, you can spill your coffee in your car or something. But these are the two. These are the two protagonists, Bonnie and Clyde. Jason and Lucia. And there we go. VI6. Twenty twenty five. Don't know when in twenty twenty five, but we know it's gonna be twenty twenty five, so this year of GTA five on GTA five's online in the snow and next year are gonna be the last two, I suppose. Oh, so I would imagine personally that it will be 2020, like late 2025, sort of similar to what GTA 5 was, so September-ish time, 2025, I would imagine that's when we're expecting it, which would make it, what, 12 years between GTA 4 and GTA 5? But we know it's 2025, we know that it's going to be PS5 and Xbox Series X only, or S, no PC on release. PC expected a year later, just like it was for GTA 5. And damn, we actually, um, we, we, we really delved into this, didn't we? <laughs> this took us like, we've been, I've been streaming for two hours now. I'm glad I did, I chose to stream this because you guys being here in the chat, the thousand of you on YouTube and the 400 of you on Twitch, that it actually helped me to pick out a lot of stuff. So hopefully when I put this up as a video on YouTube, which I'm going to do, It'll be a sort of a really comprehensive look at these this trailer. Um, it's going to be a long one, but you know, instead of just like a ten minute video of the ten things that you might have missed in the trailer, I wanted to do something that was super comprehensive. So hopefully, we've managed to do that. 